Hey, yo, I'm gonna be making a Scar Lord beat, but like have your Scar Lord, you know, just like a tri metal shit. So I got this melody for Looperman. Shout out to Slice. He always has some fucking hard ass melodies, so. Hold up. I'm gonna. I put a blood overdrive, increase volume. Well, I'm gonna actually increase the color too. I'm gonna turn on the distortion. Boost to high ends, cut lows, get that Valhalla room going. That, um, this is just cutting the lows so it doesn't clash the 808. And for the, I have a, a basic drum pair laying down, not like fully done, but this is what it sounds like. So I got my 808, you know, got my kick, I had a 9 snare, and then I put in the reverse kick, so, uh, envelope, so when you, it just, yeah, you get it, and then a crash, So, tips I could, for the melody, you could copy it, click make a unique sample, enter, and then here I'm gonna, I could boost the pitch like that. So it just adds more high end. And see how there's not a lot of low end? See right here. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, but with the top on. Oops, make unique a sample. Uh, what did I just do? Boom, alright, and then I'm gonna turn it down all the way like that. So now we got... So here's the original. You just look at the frequencies. Here's it all of them. Much more full. And also I'm gonna go into here. See how there's like a... So it's less harsh, and then... So now... One thing you could definitely tell is when the 808 comes in, the melody just completely disappears. So there's two ways to really fix this, so one you could... But... Make a better way... Turn on the 808, so... So then you could click Rot to Destruct.
Actually, I'm just gonna. I'm actually just gonna change the whole direction on the beat, so I'm gonna get some ambient shit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, that's a full tutorial kind of shifted what B I made, but yeah, that's a basically how you make like a hard distorted trap beat. Trap and a little distro core, whatever the fuck you want to call it, but yeah.